Hi, I'm Bridget, founder of Biddy Tarot, the online learning community for people who love to read tarot and who want to connect with their intuition. Now, I'm here with the monthly tarot forecast for November 2017. And as always, this is about tapping into the blessings, the challenges and the recommended actions to make this the best month possible. Now, I've chosen the absolute crowd favorite, which is the Wild Unknown Tarot. Again, another beautiful modern deck, uh, really vibrant colors, a lot of like strong energy in this deck, as we shall see in our reading. Now, let's just get straight into it. I want to show you all three cards that I have drawn for this month because you'll see them in context. So our blessings is represented by the star card the challenges by the Empress, and again, very different imagery to what we see in the Rider Waite deck. And the High Priestess is our recommended actions. Now take a little look at those cards and what do you notice? First, you'll notice that all three are in the night sky. Now, some, a pattern that you'll see across the wild unknown is that the more feminine the energy of the card, you'll find that it's more in this sort of night space. It's kind of that connection to the feminine energy. And in these two, the High Priestess and the Empress, we've got that crescent moon. Again, the moon is really tapping into the feminine energy. So expect uh, November to be very strong with that feminine energy and going into this place of darkness. Now, darkness does not have to be a negative place. Darkness can be a place of retreat, of connecting with yourself, your higher self, your inner self, your inner wisdom, all of that good stuff. And ideally connecting with your feminine energy, being receptive, being open and aware of those subtle energies that are happening all around you. So with your blessings with the star card, the blessings of the star card are very much around restoring your sense of faith and hope in the world. You know, to wish upon a little star. I see that so much in this card. And for November, you may find that your blessings are these kind of big universal blessings. You know, think of when you look up to the starry night and you realize just how small you are and how big the universe is. So I think that these blessings for November are going to be huge and felt on a really large scale because we've got that connection to the starry night sky. And again, that just you know, re-energizing re around what's possible for you. It's a really powerful card. Now, the Empress shows up as a challenge, and I've got to be honest, I'm not really feeling it as a challenge. So potentially you could say that some of the challenges might be around really embodying your feminine energy, and this is applicable to men as well. You know, how can you embody your feminine energy? Because we are a balance of both. Now, you don't have to dress up like a girl, you can if you want, but you know, how do you get into that space of receptiveness, of openness? And the Empress very much about abundance. How do we create more abundance in our lives? And how do we create a mindset of abundance? So whilst I don't necessarily think it's a challenge right now, I do think it's an opportunity where you might feel that some of this Empress energy is lacking and you can just put more of it in. Um, and think about growth and how you can create more growth or even more growth in your life, particularly in this month. Now, our final card is the recommended action for this month, and we have the High Priestess. Now, this is traditionally a very intuitive card, one that is so in connection with just the natural mysteries of life. And I love that we have a tiger here because this just really you know, beds down this idea that when we're in connection with our intuition, we come at it from a place of power and strength. And I find that having this tiger energy here alongside, you know, the moon, which is the intuition, this is almost like, looks like a crystal ball, beautiful colors, of course. And it shows that when we can stay in connection with the universe and, you know, the natural rhythms of life, we get into this beautiful place of power. 
So I think this is a magical, magical month ahead. Um, particularly, you know, we've got again the star card, anything is possible, and you're really restoring that faith in what's available to you. And you can make it grow even more if you fully embrace that abundance mindset and you embrace growth and you embrace your feminine energy. And then when you're connecting with your intuition and your inner source of power, wow, that's where it really happens. So I hope you have an amazing month ahead. The cards are looking really great. So I hope you have a really good one and I look forward to connecting with you again very soon. Bye for now.